say that again. Good morning, New Pilgrim Rest. Amen. Let's give the God a hand clap of praise for waking us up this morning, for starting us on another day's journey, for clothing us in our right mind. Amen. Amen. Hasn't he been good to you on this morning? Amen. He's been good to me also, and I cannot wait to praise and worship his holy name on today. Amen. We're going to start out our service this morning with a baptism. Amen. I'm going to ask Nicole... Um, I'm going to ask uh, Nicole Hogan um, to come read the scripture, amen, and then we'll have a prayer by Reverend Minister for Minister McCoy. Good morning. I am here to read the scripture for this morning. So the scripture will be coming from Mark chapter 9, verses 35 through 37. And if you would, please stand in obedience to God's holy word. Again, that's Mark chapter 9, verses 35 through 37. And if you have it, just say amen. amen. Verse 35 says, sitting down. He called the twelve and said to them, If anyone wants to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. Taking a child, he set him before them, and taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one child like this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me does not receive me, but him who sent me. That was Mark chapter 9, verses 35 through 37. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Let us pray. Eternal God, we come this morning. Lord, we come to say thank you. Lord, we thank you because you had kept each and every one of us all night long. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you because you are God and God all by yourself. Then, Lord, we say we love you. We thank you. We thank you for our pastor, Dr. Bell. Thank you for First Lady, Sarah Bell, Lord. We thank you for how you allow them to continue to be on the throne, Lord. And it's because of your grace and your mercy. And so, Lord, we thank you for them. We ask that you would continue to uplift them and encamp angels around them everywhere they go and all that they do. Everywhere they put their hands, Lord, we ask that they be blessed. And then, Lord, we ask that you would meet every need in their life, in their kids and grandkids and great-grand. Lord, we just thank you for them. We love them, Lord, because you first loved them. And so, Lord, you handpicked them for this place at this time and for this day. And so, Lord, we thank you again, Lord. We love you today because you're alive and you're yet living, Lord. You are blessing each and every one of us, those that are in the house and those that are online, Lord. Your mercy and grace is sufficient. Lord, it's you that woke us today. It's you that causes us to have the blood running warm and we have our being. So, Lord, we're going to worship you today. We don't care what the enemy has to say. We don't care what stumbling blocks that's looking forward in front of us. Lord, but we walk by faith and not by sight. So, Lord, we're here to give you honor. We're here to give you glory, and we're here to give you praise. Because whom all honor and praise are due, Lord, you are yet on the throne. You are yet in control of our lives. Yet we sometimes fall down, but we get back up because of your mercy and your grace. Because of Calvary. The life of the blood is still running warm in us. And so, Lord, we owe praises to you today. We owe to give you amen. We owe to say yes, Lord, to you. We owe to clap to you today. And so, Lord, we love you today, Lord. Lord, we pray for those that are sick, that want to be in the house of worship. We pray for those that are sick right now in here, that not acknowledging it. But, Lord, we ask that you govern them right now, Lord. Lord, it's the word that's going to raise us up. It's the word that's going to cleanse us. It's the word that's going to give us the right outlook. It's the word that's going to cause us to do right. So, Lord, we're here to worship you today. And so we love you today, Lord. We thank you. Lord, we know the world is, in, is crazy right now, but you're in control of the world. Lord, you know everything going on, no matter how bad it looks. Lord, but we as believers, we don't have to worry. We don't have to fret because you already prepared a place for us. And we say thank you today, Lord. Lord, we honor you today. We magnify your name today. Lord, soften our hearts and our ears. Open up our understanding, Lord, that our heart won't be, be so hardened that we can't accept the word of God. So, Lord, we ask that you would touch each one of us, that when we leave today, we know we've been in the presence of the Holy Ghost. So, Lord, have your way today. Have your way. 
Lord, this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Amen and amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, how we do thank you for uh, these two young men who have uh, confessed that your son is the Lord over their lives, Father. We thank you for uh, the external uh, baptism that they did, Father. We thank you for the fact that they did it publicly, Father. Now, Father, as they begin their journey of Christendom, Father, we ask that you surround them with a hedge of protection, Father. Um, Father, the devil wants to get them, Father. The enemy wants to um, and pump drugs in their veins, Father. Uh, Father, he wants to put them in jail, Father. He wants them to kill other boys that look just like them, Father. But, Father, I pray that you uh, protect them, Father. Father, take control of their minds right now, Father. Father, let them know that they can love, Father, in spite of, Father. Father, let them know that they don't need drugs and alcohol, Father. Father, let them know that they can live productive lives, Father, if they just follow you, Father. And Father, I pray that you make them the men that you want them to be, Father. Make them loving husbands, Father. Make them love one another, Father. Make them be examples that other kids can follow, that other, bl other black men can follow, Father. Allow them to be the leaders of our future, Father. Father, we pray this prayer of your daughter and son, Jesus. Father, we thank you for their parents, Father. We thank you that they led them to Christ, Father. We thank that they have set a good example for them, Father. Father, protect that whole family, Father. Keep them together, Father. And most importantly, Father, keep them in your word, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Come on, let's praise the Lord in this place. Let's give God some glory. Happy Sunday, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. It's a choice for real to rejoice and be glad in it. If that's your choice this morning, come on and stand up with us. And let's give God some praise in this place. Clap your hands just like this. It'll make you feel real good, I promise. The song says, hallelujah, you're worthy to be praised. How many can testify that God's done at least one thing this week that he's worthy of praise for? Come on, let's celebrate him this morning. Hallelujah, you're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, you're worthy to be praised. Y'all got it, come on. Hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Right here.
here. I lift my hands. I lift my hands. I praise you, Lord. I bow my head. I honor you, Lord. I lift my hands. I praise you, Lord. I bow my head. I bow my head. to clap your hands. I want to see you move a little bit. Come on, let's move a little bit. Move, move. Right here, everybody. Let's go in right here. Hallelujah, you're worthy. Hallelujah, we praise your name. Hallelujah, so worthy. Hallelujah, Lord, we lift you up. Hallelujah, you're worthy. Hallelujah, you're worthy. Hallelujah, we praise your name. Uh huh. Hallelujah, so worthy. Yep. Hallelujah, Lord, we lift you up. Hallelujah, you're worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we praise your name. Oh, hallelujah, so worthy. Hallelujah, Lord, we lift you up. Lord, we lift you up. Say, Lord, we lift you up. and praise the Lord in this place. Good morning and welcome to this Sunday's edition of Pilgrim Landing. Everyone is invited to come out for fuel Families Unleashing Enthusiastic Love will help you to learn more about the Bible. Again, we will have classes at 8 a.m. on Sundays till 8.45 a.m. There are classes available for all ages. If you are needing more information on which class you are to attend, please see the General Superintendent, Sister Elisa Jenkins, or the Assistant Superintendent, Deacon Derek Gibson, for more information regarding your classes. Hey, we hope to see you in fuel, so let's gear up. Pastor is asking all of the men of the New Pilgrim Ridge Church to join him on Monday at 6.30 p.m. here at the church in the Fellowship Hall for the Momentum Men Ministry. This time is set aside for the brotherhood to get together to have fun, fellowship, and learning in the Lord. So please come out on Mondays at 6.30 p.m. You won't regret it. The Women's Ministry of New Pilgrim West would like to invite all of the ladies for ladies' Bible study on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. You can join us here on campus at the church, or you can join on Zoom. 
So please set aside your time on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. to join us for the Ladies Bible Study. Pastor is asking all to please join us on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. for Life Night, either virtually or here on campus. So please, everyone is invited to come out to learn more about the Word of God. We would like to wish our dearest member, Sister Zelma Louise Joyner, a happy 90th birthday. All members are asked to please join her and the WJS Fellowship Hall immediately following church service for cake and punch. Again, we would like to say happy birthday to you. Are you ready? Our church-wide Jersey Day membership event is coming. It will be held on Sunday, February 12th at 9 a.m. For more information regarding whose team you are a member of, please see Sister Gwen Walker. She will also reach out to all of the captains of the team to let you know what we're expected to do. Again, we hope to see you all on Sunday, February 12th at 9 a.m. for the annual Jersey Day membership event. Pastor Bell states that we are a church that is committed to prayer. And with that, we will begin our church ride 50 days of prayer starting at midnight on February the 18th until April the 8th. We are asking that everyone please choose a 15 minute time slot to pray. The flyers to pick your time slot are available in the church operational manual along with a guide on how to spend an hour of prayer time with God. So we're asking that all please fill out your time slots available on the clock in the operational manual and submit them to Sister Ruby White as soon as possible. Prayer is the key to help us through these times. The VMB Churchwide Institute will now begin their regional meetings. The first will be held in Vicksburg, Mississippi on March 30th to 31st. If you would like more information, please visit the website www.mprnbcdallas.org. Registration is only $45. So please go out to that website if you're looking for more information regarding the VNB Regional Institute. Thank you for joining us and viewing this week's announcements. We hope you have been greatly blessed and we hope to see you again next Sunday. Amen, amen. How many of you are glad to just be in God's house one more time? Just another chance to worship him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says that they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And if you believe that God deserves all the glory, just take about 10 seconds to tell him thank you. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy, God. Thank you for allowing us to see another year, God. Hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. Yeah, my hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah, my hallelujah 
belongs to you. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. My hallelujah, hallelujah belongs to you. Every part of me, Jesus, my hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve, you, you deserve, deserve it. Oh, yes, sir. yes, you do. You deserve it. You deserve it all, Lord. You deserve it. Every part.
on, we can say amen louder than that. Come on, come on, come on. My hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs, belongs to you. Amen. My hallelujah belongs to you uh, because you, we love you because you first loved us. Amen, amen. Thank and praise God for our music ministry on today. Uh, we've off to a grand and great start here in the new year. Uh, we have made uh, history on today. Uh, I've, I've been here uh, right at 26 years, and we, we've never had a whole family participate in the baptism of their children. A amen. So I thank and praise God for for the Hogans who have set the bar uh, for other parents to come along and participate uh, in their children's baptism. Thank uh, Sister Nicole for the scripture reading uh, and then for Dad going in the water uh, with me. Thank you. Let's give them a hand. Would you do that? Amen. Amen. Well, it's preaching time. It's, it's preaching time. It's preaching, it's preaching time. And there is a word uh, that is couch chronicled and catalog uh, in the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 43, uh, verses 18 uh, through 19, and possibly other verses. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. A new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. What a marvelous word. I, I just want to preach. I, I want to be, be brief, but I certainly want to be beneficial. So I want to talk briefly from a fresh start for a successful future. Part two. A fresh start for a successful future. A successful future. Two owners, two Kentucky farmers uh, who raised horses had a bit of rivalry against each other. One of the farmers, as they entered their horses into the steeplechase race, one decided that he would get the upper hand on the other. He decided that he would hire a professional jockey to make sure that he defeated his neighbor. The race took place and the two horses were neck and neck and the other horses were a great distance behind those two. But as they entered the final ring and fence of the race, the horses got tangled and fell down. The professional jockey jumped up and immediately got back up on the horse and crossed the finish line. He won. When he got up from the finish line, he goes to the paddock where they normally keep the animals uh, to visit with the owner that had hired him. Uh, he was ecstatic, excited because he had won, but the owner was fuming. He was irate. He was mad. He was upset. Uh, he, he said, what, what are you upset about? I, I won, didn't I? He said, yeah, you, you won. You crossed the finish line. You did do that, but you got back up on the wrong horse. You helped my neighbor when you got 
up and finish, but you got up and mounted on the wrong, the wrong horse. And maybe that's a word to some of us. Success is not what it should be if you're not in the right place at the right time. What we deem success, God does not deem successful. And, and I just want to share with you today, briefly from this passage, about how to be successful. This is a great start. It's 2023. I pray that things that we uh, left, things that we should have left in 22 are still there. Uh, we have not packed them down and pulled them in uh, in 23. Uh, I, I pray that even now you are ready to begin a winnable year. Uh, and a winnable, a winnable year. You know, the backdrop of this is that the children of Israel uh, had been taken captive in Babylon and God had delivered them uh, from, from exile. Uh, and he uh, is trying to get them to understand that he has something great for them to do. But apparently, even though they had been freed from Babylon captivity, they were freed physically, but they were still in prison mentally. And that's where we are. Sometimes God has brought us out physically, but our mind is still incarcerated. Sometimes we can't go forward because we're too busy looking backwards. And God is trying to get us to look forward. Uh, he's trying to get us to go forward. Uh, he's trying to get us to remain forward. But in his quest to get us to do what he know will help us, we are fighting and struggling to stay in the rear and, and bring in the baggage of our lives. And God is trying to get us to understand that he does not hold grudges. Uh, what, whatever happened back then ought to stay back there. And, and that's where it is. You know, the world is a cruel place. Uh, and, and the internet, the, the internet is a lovely, lovely device to use. But, you know, the internet holds on to stuff. Uh, you, you, so you have to be careful about what you allow to get on the internet. Be, be careful of pictures that you know should nobody see but, but you. Be, be careful of releasing information because it stays on the internet. It remains for years and years to come. Some people have changed their lives and gone on to do better, bigger and bolder things in life, but the internet is still out there when they had fumbled and failed and faltered in their footsteps to do better. The internet, you, you, you know, you go on and you read about the hotels, and when you go to a hotel, you want to read the interview. You, 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 you want to see what, what people who have stayed there, what they got, and even restaurants. And, and as it would, Latoya, that they, they have the, the negative always out there. And, and the review, they, they, they have the negative always out there. And some, and some, and some owners and and, uh, and, and supervisors and managers have straightened up some things, but the internet haven't forgot that you messed up. Thank God he's not like the internet. He, he, will, he will give us a fresh start. He, he will give us a fresh start. And, and so he's trying to get them to, to come into the newness. And oftentimes, God 
can't show us the new because we're too busy dipping and dabbing in the old. Whenever somebody start off talking about what I used to do and how it used to be, you ought to stop them right there. That's, t t tell me about what you're doing now. A amen. And, and, and so in order to have a fresh start, the first thing we have to do is we've got to release the old. We, we, we got we to gotta release it. We got to let it go. Uh, and we got, we, got, we got to quit hanging on to it. People that hurt you in 22, you all not bring that into 23. Well, Reverend, they didn't do to you what they, now I know they didn't do to you, they didn't do to me what they did to you. But listen, God has given you a brand new year. A brand new year. And, 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 and he says, if, if, he says, if you don't forgive others, neither will I forgive you of your trespasses. And so while we have this golden, great, and grand, and gracious opportunity to move forward in life, we, we, in, in fact, in fact we, we spend too much time complaining about what happened and didn't happen and, and who messed us up and who hindered us and who hurt us. You ought to be focused on the new things that God has in store for your life. So not only do we need to release, we, but we also need to remember how God has brought us through. How God has brought us through. He, he has delivered us. He, he's brought us through COVID. He, he brought us through uh, uh, diseases. He's brought us through hospitals. He's brought us through so much. And I would just pause to say thank you, sir, for what you brought me out of uh, already. And listen, if you spend time thanking God for what he has brought you from, uh, you won't have time to go back and remember the things of old. Have I got a witness here? Well, I'm, I'm about through. He, 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 he reminds them. He, 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 now, 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 notice, notice, and I'm rushing. No, no, notice, notice verse, verse 16 and 17. God reminds them to, to look back because he tells them that how he's brought them through. He, he, here it is. He, he, here it is. He said, listen, he said, listen, I have, listen, I make it a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. He reminds them how he brought them through the Red Sea. He reminds them how he brought them through the Red Sea. But listen, he, he wants, he wants to, them to look back, but he don't want them to stay back. He wants them to, uh, to look back and remember where he brought them from, but, but he says, don't stay there. In other words, you, you, can't, you can't make it on, on, on last year's successes. You, you've got to move on to see what God has for you in this new year. And, 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 and so he reminds them to, to, to move forward, to, to, but remember how I brought you through. And if I did it before, I'm able uh, to do it again. He, he reminds them that I am the God. Now, now, now notice, 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 ver, ver, verse 7, verse 7, I want to get there. He said, everyone that is called by my name, uh, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Every one of us have been made and created uh, for God's glory. Say that again. Every one of us have been made Every one of us has been formed to give God glory. Right. In other words, how, how do we, you, you give him glory by, you give him glory by, by, by remembering what he's done for you. Right. you. You give him glory by living the life he called you to live. Yeah. You, you, you give him glory by walking in his precepts. You, you, you give him glory by being obedient. You, you give him glory by praising his name. You, you, you can give him glory by praising his name. Psalms 22, it, it says God inhabits the praise of his people. It didn't say God inhabits the complaints of his people. It didn't say God inhabits the grumbles of his people. It, it didn't say God inhabits the, 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 the mistakes of his people. God inhabits the praise of his people. 
So he don't want us to spend time complaining and going back and, and recapitulating and going back over what happened and how I got where I... He, he wants you to move forward. Now, now let me get this little bit in and, I, and I'll let you go. Now, 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 now one, one of the problems we have is that we want to, we want to, we, we, we get into trouble and get into situations and we want to know how he's going to get us out. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, all of us got a how in our life. Yeah, I, I, where I am, I just, I, I don't see it. I just want to, I just want to know how he's going to do it. I, I, I don't see a way, but I know God is the way. But, but, but I got a how in my spirit. And, and some of us got up this morning wondering how you're going to make it. How you're going to get through. How you're going to pay your bills. How you're going to get well. How you're going to make the marriage work. How you're going to make the relationship work. How you're going to get your child straight up. How you're going to make some money. How you're going to pay your bills. How I'm, you got a how in your spirit. But I discovered something. I was coming down 67, 67 uh, North this morning, and, and, and God dropped this in my spirit. If you take the H-O-W and take the W that's at the end and put it on the front of the how, it will spell W-H-O. You don't need to worry about how. You just need to know who. Can I get a witness in here? We spend too much time on the how. And do you not know the who is in the how? If the same three letters that's used in the how is used in the who. God is the who. He's the one that created us. He's the one that has made a way for us. Have I got a witness here? Well, well you don't believe me. Let, let me catch it. Verse 13. Yea, before the day was, I am he. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work and who shall let it? I am the who. In your problem, I am the who in your dilemma. I am the who in your circumstance. I am the who in your credit problem. I am the who in your struggle. I am the who to deliver you from sickness. I am the who. And while we spending time on that, take the W off the end of how. Put it first and think. And God said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added on, unto you. Uh, you see, your, 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 your delay, your delay can disrupt your destiny. Your, your delay can disrupt your destiny. When God says move, you ought to start moving. Not, not, not worrying about how, not worrying about, you, you need to just start moving uh, in the direction he's leading you to move. Have I got a witness here? We spend too much time trying to think how we're going to work it out, how we're going to figure it out, and you ought to just let go and let God. If God is the one that put the brain inside of your head, you can't outthink God. You can't be smarter than God. G God is the one who, who created us. Now, now watch this. I, I, got, I got a clue. It's, 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 I got a clue. Uh, the, he wants them to remember that he's brought them through some red seas. He wants them to remember that he gave them victory over the Pharaoh. He wants them to remember, though, though you were in the sea, I landed you on safe shore. And, and, and so not, not, not only that, but, but watch this now. He, 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 he starts off, watch this now. He starts off in, in verse 1. Uh, uh, to remind them that he said, I formed thee. I formed thee. I formed thee. Yahith in the Hebrew literally means, it literally means I squeeze you into form. You, 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 you thought that, that, that tight place you were in, uh, that God was just squeezing you. And see, so, 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 sometimes we have to be squared. So, sometimes he has to squeeze us to get us to where he wants us to be. So he, he takes some trials and he, he takes some tribulation. He, he takes some misfortune because he's squeezing us. In, 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 in other words, he's like the potter. He's, he's just forming and making us. And, 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 and some of us know uh, clothes that's too small, we have to squeeze in them if we want to. So, shoes that's too small, we will squeeze in them and, 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 and so, so sometimes God has to squeeze us to get us to where he wants us to be but, he, but, but thank God he knows when to squeeze 
He knows how long to squeeze. And he knows exactly where to squeeze. So he squeezes us. The text said that he, he formed the, I formed the O Israel. In other words, I squeezed, I kept squeezing you and kept squeezing you until I got you to where I want you to be. And so God squeezes us. But now, but now watch the text because the, the text says in verse 43, he says, he said, when thou pass it through, verse 2. He didn't say, if you pass through. He says, when you pass through. He, 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 didn't, he didn't say you, he didn't say you might. He said, when you pass, watch this now, when you pass it through the waters. It, it, it could be the waters, it could be the waters of separation. It, it, it could be, it could be the waters, it could be the waters of sickness. He said, but when you pass through, through the waters, when you pass through the waters, and, and whenever you find that word through, it, 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 it means that, 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 that there is no parking place. You got to go through. It, that, that, there, is no, there, is, there is no meter to park. And, and I'm afraid some of us have invented our own meters to park where God has made a thoroughfare. You, you decide to create a meter and park where God has told you to go through. He said, when you pass through the waters, w w waters of separation, the waters of, of divorce, when you pass through the waters, when, when you pass through the waters of bills and sickness and finance, when you pass through the waters, he says, watch this now. I will be with thee. Now, if that don't help you to get into the new year, if, if, if that won't help you, uh, if that won't help you focus uh, on, on the future, if that, if that won't help you understand that he wants to give you a fresh start for, for a, 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 a fruitful and, and faithful future, then, then he said, I will be with thee. I will be with thee. I'm not going to send a representative. He said, listen, when I, when I bring you through, he said, when you pass through the waters, he says, he says, I will, I will be with you. Now watch this. He says, now, now watch this now. He says, he says, he says, he says, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. They, 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 the, the rivers shall not overflow thee. R rivers of tears, rivers of, of depression, ri ri rivers of, of disappointment. The rivers will not overflow you. There, there may be rivers of disappointment. There may be rivers of depression. There, there, there may be uh, rivers of deceit. There, there, there may be rivers of, of, of people taking it. There may be some rivers, but they will not overflow you. Now watch this now. I love this. He said, and when thou walkest, he didn't say, now, now that's strange. He didn't say run through the fire. He said, when you walk, <laughs> that, that, that suggests our pace. That, that suggests our, our pace. He, he said, when you walk through the fire, and, and, and you know he goes back to Daniel chapter 3 because there were three Hebrew boys thrown into a fiery furnace because they wouldn't bend bow to the king. And the king threw them in the furnace. And, and, and the Bible says that though he threw them in the furnace and turned up the furnace seven times hotter. And in fact, those who throw them in got killed while they were trying to put the boys in. In fact, that that should have killed the boys killed the ones that was trying to kill them. And so G God controls the fire. He throws them in there and the Bible declares that there was a fourth walking in the fire. 
He just said running. He said there was a fork walking in the fire. And fire, fire, fire consumes. And he says, and so whatever you're going through, I want to allow it to consume you. I, I want to allow it to burn you up. He said, watch this now. He said, he says, he said, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. I control the burn and the flame. I'm, I'm about to, I control the burn and the flame. And neither one will harm you. And then verse 3, that's why he says, that's why he says, listen, this is, this is a reminder. He said, he said, for, he said, he said, for I am the Lord, thy God, the Holy One of Israel, the Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom. Watch this. I gave it for thy ransom, Ethiopia and, Se and, and Sabia for thee. He said, now, watch this. Verse 5 said, fear not. Fear not. Whatever you're going through, he says, fear not. And many of us can't make decisions to go forward because we're fearing what's going to happen. Is it the right time? Am I making the right decision? Will, 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 will I pay the consequence? When God says move, you ought to just get to moving. And he says in this text, 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 he said, I am with thee. And so when you know God is with you, you can have confidence that whatever you're going through, God is going to work it out. The Hebrew writer says, come boldly before the throne of grace. And tell him all, and, 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 and give him your troubles because he's able to bring you through. So God is trying to get Israel to remember uh, that he is the God that brought them through. But he also is telling them, remember not the things of old, the former thing, neither consider the thing. In other words, don't, don't rest upon your laurels. Don't, don't rest upon what you did in the past. For what God did for you, wait a minute, wait a minute, God, I, I, no, no, he, he's trying to, no. He's reminding me, Tessa, that the Bible says that God gives new mercies every morning. He, 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 he gives new mercies for our mess ups and my mistakes. He, did, he gives new mercies. And I thank God for that because I used up. I don't know about you, but I used up my old mercy. My old mercy was used up yesterday, so I needed some new mercy for today. And thank God he's a God that will give us new mercies. He, he's a God that will give us new opportunities. He, he is a God that will give us new doors to go through. He, he, he is a God that will give us the opportunity to experience uh, new things in life. He's a God that wants us to have a fresh start. He is a God that wants us to be successful. God does not get any glory from us failing and falling in our attempts to be successful. God only gets glory when we start praising his name. God gets glory when we uh, go through the storm and the rain. Sometimes we have to go through it without complaining. Sometimes we have to go through it uh, uh, without the tears uh, in our eyes. Uh, Sometimes we have to pull over and thank the Lord uh, that he brought us thus far. Have I got a witness here? So if you want to have a fresh start for a successful future, number one, you got to be reminded that God is still on the throne. Have I got a witness? And he knows exactly what you're going through. Have I got a witness here? He knows just how much you can bear. 
have a God of witness and he knows just how much to leave you in the furnace. Have a God of witness for he is a God that cannot fail. Have a God of witness. I'm reminded of a little story about a man who was on his way to take his daughter to college. Have I got a witness? On their way to school, it started storming on their way to school. And the daughter was driving the car and she asked her father, do you want me to pull over? And the father said, no daughter, keep on driving. Have I got a witness? It got so bad that the hail started knocking on the window. In fact, it cracked the window shield. And the daughter said, Daddy, do you want me to pull over to the side? And the daddy said, Daughter, is the car still driving? And she said, Yes, it's still drivable. He said, Drive on through the storm. Have I got a witness? A little while longer, uh, she kept on driving, uh, and the storm uh, broke the windshield wipers. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, and the windshield wipers uh, refused uh, to go back and forth. Uh, she said, Daddy, I can't hardly see. Uh, do you want me to pull over? Because uh, I noticed uh, that the cars uh, on the other side uh, are all pulling over to the side of the road. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, he said, no, daughter, can you, can you see out the window shield? She said, yeah, daddy, but it's cracked. And daddy, the windshield wipers don't work. He said, baby, just keep on driving. She drove on a little while longer and the headlights went out. She said, daddy, the headlights have gone out. It's dark outside. I can't hardly see. And the windshield wipers are broke. And the windshield is cracked. Daddy, can you want me, to, do you want me to, to pull over? He said, no, baby, is the motor still running? She he said, yeah, daddy, the motor is still running, but the, uh, uh, the windshield is cracked. Uh, the windshield wipers don't work. Uh, and now uh, the lights are gone out. Uh, he said, keep on driving. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, and then after a while, uh, they kept on driving uh, and the storm ceased. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, and then the father said, now pull over. She said, daddy, why are you telling me to pull over now? Uh, why are you telling me to pull over? Uh, the storm done stop. It ain't hailing no more. Uh, the rain is not coming down no more. Uh, I don't need the windshield wipers. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, he said, daughter, I want you to turn around uh, and look back. Uh, if you had stopped, look at all of those cars uh, that's still in the storm. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, keep on driving. I said, keep on driving through the storm and through the rain. Uh, keep on driving the windshield wipers uh, may not work uh, but keep on driving uh, the headlights uh, may go out in your life uh, but keep on driving uh, the windshield may be cracked uh, but keep on driving by and by the storm is passing over the storm is passing over hallelujah i say hallelujah the storm is passing over. I've got good news. I say, I've got good news. The storm don't last always. The storm will soon stop. You've got to keep on driving. You may be hurt, but keep on driving. You may be disappointed, but keep on driving. You may be wounded, but keep on driving. You may be embarrassed, but keep on driving. By and by, by and by, the Lord will, the Lord will bring you through the storm. Ain't he all right? I say, ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? I say, ain't he all right? Won't he make a way out of no way? Anybody in here been through the storm and been through the rain, but you kept on driving. You've been hurt, but you kept on driving. You've been down, but you kept on driving. And after a while, the storm passed on over. Ain't he all right? I say, ain't he all right? Say yeah. Say yeah. Won't he do it? I say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? 
I say, won't he do it? Say yeah, say yeah. I got one more storm that I got to tell you about. It was a storm one Friday evening over 2,000 years ago. A storm showed up on Calvary. They took Jesus to a little bald-headed hill called Calvary. I know it was a storm because the Bible said that the sun refused to shine. The moon dripped in blood. But my Savior stayed on the cross, stayed on the cross, six to the ninth hour. After a while, he died. I said, he died. He died. I said, he died. He died on a hill called Calvary. But that's not the end of the story. Later in a borrowed tomb, stayed all day Friday and all day Saturday and all Saturday night. But early, help me say early, early Sunday morning, up, up, up out of the grave with all power heaven and earth in his hand and one of these days I said one of these days one of these days he's coming back again he's coming back he's coming back the angels down at the bottom of the, up at the hill say ye men of Galilee why stand ye here gazing that same Jesus you see going away he's coming back again one he ain't all right I say, ain't he all right? Say yeah. Say yeah. Are you determined to have a fresh start? Are you committed to having a fresh start? Won't you have a fresh start? It don't start tomorrow. It don't start next week. It don't start next month. It starts today. It starts today. Square your shoulders. I said, square your shoulders and tell that devil, I'm going to start today. You've been telling me to hold off, to hold out, but I want to give you a warning. I'm going to start today. My fresh start, my fresh start starts today. It starts right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Ain't he all right? I say, ain't he all right? Won't he do it? I say, won't he do it? Anybody here tried the God I'm talking about? Have you tried him? You can try him right now. Try him right now. I said, try him right now. Won't he come through? I say, he'll come through. Your fresh start starts right starts right now your fresh start starts he is a right now God isn't he your fresh start starts right now Calvin, I learned you can, God can give you some, but you got to appropriate it. He gave them the promised land. But he told them to go and possess it. I can have a credit card that's never been used with a thousand dollars on it. But until I activate it, I'm just walking around with a card that represents, that tells me I got a thousand dollars until I activate it. And I'm talking to somebody here today that need to activate. You say you walking in faith? You live by faith? Your faith, your faith, if it's strong enough, and it should be, it should be strong enough for you to lean on. 
strong enough for you to depend on. Don't listen to the voice to tell you not now. Wait a while. Your future for success starts right now. Remember, the God who created you, not only did he create you, he formed you, he kept squeezing you. All through your life, he's been squeezing you. And we go through seasons where God is squeezing us. It's one squeeze after another. The squeeze of grief. The squeeze of abandonment. The squeeze of betrayal. The squeeze of financial hardships. The squeeze of children who are disobedient and disrespect. He keeps squeezing us. He wants to grow us. Because the more He grows us, the more we are to glorify Him. And God wants His glory. Give Him His glory by being obedient. Amen. Though the church is open, I'm sorry. Though the church is open, I'm sorry. Though the church is open, maybe one. Candidate for baptism, Christian experience. One who wants to start now. If you're here, if you're here, and you've been putting it off and putting it off, today is an excellent day. God bless you. Amen. There's a brother there. Fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh start. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. He's able to carry us through. All He needs you to do is activate. I couldn't seem to fall asleep. Mm. There was so much on my mind searching for that peace that peace I could not find and then I kneeled down to pray pray help me please he said, you don't have to cry. Today is a good day. Because I'll supply all your needs. Tomorrow is not promised. As soon as I stopped worrying. Tomorrow is not promised. Worrying how the story ends. Today is all you have. I let go and I let God. Yesterday is a canceled Let check. God have Come on. his way. Come on, CC. That's Woo. when things start happening. That's when they start happening. When I stopped looking Look, listen. at back then. Listen, listen. I let Woo. go and I, I let God. Let God have his way. Couldn't seem to fall asleep. My, 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 my. <laughs> there was so much there? on my mind. Have you been there? Searching mm. for that peace. Couldn't sleep. <laughs> that peace I could not find. My, my, my. And then I kneeled down to pray. Kneel down to pray. Praying, help my, my. me, please. My, my, my. He said, You don't have to cry. You don't have to cry. Because I'll supply all your needs. My, my, my. Soon <laughs> as I stopped worrying. Soon as I stopped worrying. Worrying how the story is. There's, there's that how again. 
I let, I let go. go and I let God. I let God have his way. Let God have <laughs> his way. <laughs> That's when things start happening. My, my, my. When I stopped looking at back then. Back then, back then, back then. I let, I go, let go and I let God. I let God. Let God have <laughs> his way. Ooh. Let go. Let go. And let God. Let go. Let go. Let go. And let, let God. God. Let go. Let go. And let God. 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 Let go. My, my, my. Mm. As soon as I stopped wow. worrying. As soon as I stopped. Worrying <laughs> how the story ends. My, 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 my. When I let, let go and I, I let God. I let God. I let God. Let God. God have his way. That's when things start happening. That's when things started happening. <laughs> when I stopped looking at back, back then, then, I let go and I let God. I let, God. Mm. let God have his way. day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. The day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. He's a God that stands at the door and he knocks. He's not one that will kick the door in, beat the door down. He says, I'll knock. And whosoever open the door, I'll come in and I'll sup with him and him with me. That's the kind of relationship that God wants to have with his children. But it starts with obedience. Quit putting the, off what he told you to do. Don't, 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 don't allow the thoughts of doubt to hold you hostage. See, see, life is, the Bible said life is like a vapor. It's here today and can be gone today. Today is all you got. Yesterday is a council check. Tomorrow is a promissory note. Today is all you have. And he's calling you. And I talk about that in part three. The call is in the text. He created us. He redeemed us. And he called us all to have a fruitful future, successful future. May God bless you, may he keep you as I pray. Thank you. Come on, come on, Reverend. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just meandering. All right. Amen. Amen. Let's thank Pastor Bell for that moving and motivating and then magnificent message that he allowed the Lord to uh, speak through him on today. Um, thanks to Pastor Bell. We have a strong brotherhood here. Amen. 
And this is just part of the brotherhood that we have today, amen. They, they showed up in fuel today. I want to thank my brothers, amen. amen. But we have another brother here who decided to square his shoulders <laughs> and tell the devil, my fresh start starts today. I want to introduce a new member by the name of Cedric Jones, amen. Cedric, I want to extend to you the right hand of fellowship, amen. We, we are thankful to God that you decided to unite with New Pilgrim Rest, amen. Like I just said, we have a strong brotherhood here. Anything that you're going through, you can talk to us about it. You can rest assured that it won't leave um, whoever you talk to, amen. Um, we don't um, make you say anything, but if you want to say anything, you can have words. <laughs> that's that that's good enough right there amen all the brothers all the brothers y'all come and extend Cedric the right hand of fellowship amen make him feel welcome amen show him how much love the brotherhood has here at New Pilgrim Rest come on brothers eat your heart out sisters come on all the brothers <laughs> all the brothers if you're a man, if you if you're a man, only if you're a man, only if you're a man, you 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 know your anatomy. You come on, you you you're a man, you man. My 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 my. Eat your heart out, sister. Lord, have mercy. My, 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 my. What a way to kick off the new year. That's how God operates. Y'all know I ain't making it up. Y'all know who he created first, don't you? <laughs> he created man. Dr. Pepperberry in here, Lord have mercy. Dr. Pepperberry, Lord have mercy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, now show y'all how God works. Doesn't Cedric have a son? He has a son. His name is who? Kaiser Jones. That's him. Kaiser Jones. Yes, sir. And he's located in Japan. Yes, sir. Kaiser called me this morning from Japan. Wow. And wanted to thank me for the devotions. He said, I don't always respond. He said, but this, they said, but I, 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 I use them and I share them. He said, Pastor, I, I didn't want to text you. I wanted to call you oh, to personally say thank you all the way from Japan. And who would have thunk it? Who would have ever thunk it that his father? Wow, look at God. Do y'all see it? Do y'all see it? heard from the son this morning and the father came later on the son and the father my 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 what a God we serve what a God we serve glory to his name my God my God my God well we're about ready we're about ready we're about ready to to do communion is that right okay okay who's in charge come on Reverend Michael Matthew Hogan and Malachi James Hogan to the front pew. They, those two of our candidates. 
My, look at God. Look, men, look, young. Woo, look at God. My God. My God. My God. Woo. Has everyone been served that would desire to partake um, in this communion service? Amen. If you haven't, raised your hand. And I got one to my left. Yeah, right down front. Yeah. It reaches right. to the highest mountain. It flows to the low west valley. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. Let us pray. Father in heaven, how we do. We thank you for the time that we have had in this worship service on today. And thank you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us.
It will ne never lose. It will never lose. It will never, 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 never lose. It's power. Father in heaven, we thank you for the blood, Father. We thank you for the blood that will never lose its power. We thank you for the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross for the remission of sin, Father. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Father, because if it had not been for your son, Father, we would not be here today, Father. So, Father, thank you for the blood, Father, that cleanses us, Father. The blood that moves us, Father. The blood that supplies us, Father. The blood that strengthens us, Father. The blood that never loses its power. Now, Father, we ask that as we partake of this communion, Father, that um, if we have anything in our hearts that will keep us from taking it, Father, we ask that you remove it right now, Father. Because, Father, we want to be in right relationship with you, Father, in order to take this communion. And, Father, we want to reflect on the fact that your son died on the cross for our sins, Father. And so, Father, since he died on the sin, died for our sins, Father, we can rejoice, Father. Because he got up so that we can get up, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Reading from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, um, the aphoristic apostle Paul writes, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Amen and amen. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, Mike, Mike, Michael Matthew. Malachi James, I know y'all can't wait to get back to mom and dad. We have some for you. Michael Matthew Hogan. Parents, come on up so y'all can take a picture with them. That's McCall and Ashley. <laughs> oh, I've never seen two candidates more excited about getting baptized. They were excited. Do we have any guests here today? All of our guests. If you just, we don't make you. If you just raise your hand, slide your hand up. All of our guests. See them over here, over here, over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see you back there. All right. We thank and praise God for all of you coming this way. We know you passed a lot of churches uh, to get to us, and we don't take that lightly. So we're grateful to God that you came to this place of worship, and we pray that something said or sung 
uh, that you were inspired by something that will strengthen you on your journey uh, in the days to come. Amen. Please come back uh, and be with us again. We, we, are, we, we, we don't normally hold this long. Uh, but, but Chad and Cece got a little happy this morning. And extended the time. So come back and be with us again. Amen. All right. Now it's time to give back to God what he first gave to us. Amen. It's giving time. It's giving, giving time. Amen. Raise your hand if you need an envelope. Uh, that's what I call the soil. The seed is in your purse, in your pocket, uh, in your sock, in your shoe, uh, in your Bible. The seed has to go in the soil in order to get a harvest. You can't get a harvest if you never plant the seed. It's, you can't make seed necklace, need seed bracelets. Seed has to go in the soil. Amen. You have to put it in the soil. It has to die. Amen. The last book of the Old Testament, called the book of Malachi, reminds us, he says, will a man rob God? Said, wait, and if he robbed, he said, in tithes and in offering. He said, you curse with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. And he says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there might be meat in mine house. And then prove me now, herewith said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there won't be room enough to receive it. The aphoristic apostle Paul chimes in, except on the first day of the week. Let every one of you lay by him in store as God has prospered him. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So let every man and woman give according to God's purpose in their heart. Let them give, not grudgingly or necessity. Why? Because God loveth it. A cheerful giver. And when you give to God what it is, God will not sometime, almost, or maybe God will always take care of you. Amen. God, our Father, how we thank you now for these gifts that have been given. We thank you for these candidates that you allowed us to witness to go down in the water and be, and be baptized, uh, which is an outward symbol of what transpired on the inside of your death, burial, and your resurrection. Thank you for all of our guests that came out to be a part of this worship experience. We pray that you would give them traveling grace and mercy back to their very destination. And we pray everything will be as well when they arrive as when they left. God, we give your name praise, honor, and glory. And God, we thank you for a fresh start uh, for a successful future. God, we thank you for that. Thank you for the chance. Thank you for, uh, for uh, Brother Jones coming today. And we thank you for how you're going to work in and through his life, even now. In Jesus' mighty, marvelous, magnificent, majestic, and matchless name, we pray. Amen. Will you stand? This is a time for everyone to participate through worship and giving. We have Cash App, Givelify, and PayPal. So please, choose to give in one of those great ways. Thank you for joining in this worship experience on this morning. We pray that you were blessed by the message. Uh, come back and be with us on next week. We pray that God will continue to bless you, guide you, and guard you, and grant you his grace as you continue to serve him in this kingdom. Bless you, and come back and see us.